All right, right now we are very pleased to be joined by Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack, uh, a former governor of Iowa. Governor, thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here. Uh, so let me just uh, start off by asking you about, uh, you know, obviously at this point, I wonder uh, what you must be feeling as you look, as you attend this convention. You were on the short list uh, as a running mate for Hillary Clinton. Uh, what are your thoughts at this moment? I'm extraordinarily excited about what's going to happen tonight, which we're going to nominate for the first time, major party nomination, a woman to be elected president of the United States. We're going to nominate a friend of mine, somebody who cares deeply about this country. So I am ecstatic about tonight. Uh, I think it's a great convention. It's off to a good start, uh, and it's going to be fun. What are your thoughts on uh, Tim Kaine? Solid choice. Uh, Tim it was a great mayor, a great governor, a great senator, foreign policy experience, somebody who can basically take the message in any part of the country. Uh, very, uh, really great guy, really great guy. I had an opportunity to email him after uh, the process. He emailed me back. I'm, I'm excited for him. I'm excited for Ann. Uh, he's got a wonderful wife who's uh, extraordinarily talented in her own right. He's got a great couple, and it's a great ticket. A little bittersweet, though, attending this convention? You know, not really. Uh, I've been through this before in 2004. Uh, the reality is that I'm just humbled and honored to have been on the same list as people like Tim Kaine. Uh, the reality is uh, there can only be one nominee, uh, but we all have to pitch in. This is an incredibly important election, uh, and I told uh, Hillary that I'd do anything. I'd wash the dishes. I'll uh, take out the trash. I'll do whatever I can uh, to make sure that she is the next president of the United States. It's very, very important. Governor, I want to get your take on some of the things that we saw on day one of this convention. Obviously, some lingering bad feelings among Bernie Sanders supporters who made those feelings known as they booed and heckled some of the speakers who were on the stage yesterday. What did you think about that, and how does your party become more unified? Well, I think Senator Sanders went a long way uh, last night by suggesting that there's no choice here. Uh, we have no alternative. We have got to get Hillary Clinton elected president of the United States. He was very forceful. I think First Lady uh, Michelle Obama uh, reinforced that message in a very clear way. I think we are uniting as a party. Look, we're a family, uh, and we had a, a, a difficult fight, but a fight that led to a progressive platform, a fight that really gave us a, a better understanding of the challenges that so many American families face and I think prepares us for a much better circumstance in terms of the general election. So I, I think we're going to unify as a party. I have no doubt when we leave here on Thursday, we are all going to be focused in the same direction, which is getting Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine elected. How do you think it is possible to reach out, though, to those disaffected Bernie Sanders supporters? Well, I think, first of all, starting with Senator Sanders' comments and his uh, suggestion and, and, and recommendation, but I think also pointing out the differences. Look, Donald Trump is not temporarily fit to uh, temporarily fit to be president of the United States. I, there's no question that uh, his temperament doesn't isn't what Hillary Clinton's is. She's ready to be president from day one. The issues matter to these folks. I know they do. The minimum wage, equal pay, uh, child care support, uh, for college education that's affordable. These are ma issues that matter. Health care expansion. These are issues that matter. And there's clear difference and contrast between the Trump campaign and, and the Clinton came, uh, Kane campaign. So I don't think there's any doubt that at the end of the day, these folks are going to be voting for uh, Secretary Clinton and uh, Senator Kane. Speaking of Donald Trump, you have compared him to Bernie Madoff. Right. What did you mean by that? <laughs> what did you mean? Well, I, I think he's deceiving the country. Uh, I think he has a very pessimistic uh, and less optimistic view of the country as it exists today, suggesting that we're going to be great again, suggests that we're not great now. We are a great country. We're the greatest nation on earth. Uh, and I think he's basically suggesting to people that somehow he and he alone will solve the problems of the United States. The reality is the problems are going to be solved in this country by us working together by us coming together as a country, whether it's international issues or domestic issues, we work best when we work together. Uh, and I think when he suggests that somehow he by himself has the power to make a change, I just think it's a, it's a deception. I think it's very similar to what Mr. Madoff did with his investors. As you know, one of his uh, appeals to voters has been about the establishment versus anti-establishment, and this is something that Senator Sanders himself uh, has said on the campaign trail. Uh, how is it that you reach those particular voters, people who do feel as though, in the wake, for instance, of the Democratic National Committee email leaks, that the system, the political system, is rigged? How do you reach those people? Well, I think the fact that we had a strong, vibrant, uh, contested primary process should reinforce uh, the motion that Indeed, uh, this Democratic Party is open. Uh, we've uh, obviously the party has uh, has uh, apologized for the email situation. 
but we move on from that. Uh, this is a party that believes in transparency. This is a party that believes in helping people work their way up through the ladder. Uh, you know, with due respect to Mr. Trump, he is, he is the epitome of the establishment. Uh, born uh, in, in, into significant wealth, uh, he is the epitome of the establishment. Uh, Secretary Clinton, on the other hand, has worked her way up uh, from a middle class background. She understands and appreciates the challenges that families, working families, middle class families are facing. That's why she's got a plan to make college debt free. It's why she's got a plan to extend uh, health care coverage, important child care uh, protections, raising the minimum wage. These are all issues that Mr. Trump has a different view on. And I think as these views are discussed during the course of the campaign, uh, this election is going to be providing a very clear choice uh, for Americans. All right. Tom Vilsack. Governor, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Thank you.